Hi, I'm Suti Pong from EDA International, Thailand. If you want to log in OBC data into the Microsoft SQL Server, you can use the Trainworks 32, the module of Genesis 32 to log in data from the OBC server into the database such as SQL Server or Microsoft Access or MySQL. But if you want to if you want the easy way to log in OVC data to Microsoft SQL Server, you can use Scriptworks to do this for you. Scriptworks can run as NT servers, and it's a port uh, multi threading. You can write in the VBA script uh, as you can, and it can connect to the OPC server. Uh, OPC server and database. When using Scriptworks to log in data into Microsoft SQL Server, you can order and can create your desert column yourself. In this way, it is flexible for your work. Let me show you. Open the Scriptworks 2010. If you want to log in data from OVC server into Microsoft SQL Server, you need to use the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. You can use the Express version that's free and create a script in the Scriptworks 2010. In Project 3, you can see it is the uh, name of the project and the designer. You can create a designer by right click on the project and select new designer. In this video, I will show you the simple way to log in data from OVC server into the Microsoft SQL server using Scriptworks 2010. After create a designer, right click on the designer and select new script to create a script. In this script, I name it as a rec1 and name the script name same to the name of the script this is the script name in VBA editor okay you can see in the trigger name uh, text box you can use the trigger that is the date time trigger we can select the date time trigger from the unified data manager in UDM you can use any dead time trigger or you can create the new dead time trigger yourself in the event trigger you will see the dead time trigger and you can create new item trigger okay you can specify the recur every day, hour, minute, or second. Okay. In this way, I will use the trigger name is uh, every 15 second. Okay. Then this script will work in every 15 seconds. Now you can edit the VBA code by click on the edit VBA code. In the VBA code, you can write in your script after this line to do add your code here and then you can write in your script okay this is my script just five line of codes first I have declared a variable v1 v2 as variant and gc 1 2 2 as the new OVC helper you can see my code in the video description. If you see uh, my video in YouTube, you will see this code in my video description. You can copy and paste into your script. Okay. Now, I uh, reading the OPC data directly. Okay. From two OPC tags. But before you can use this code, you need to make the reference 
by right uh, by click on the tools reference and select gen client wrapper gen client wrapper okay now you can use the library of gen client wrapper to read the opc data into the variable v1 and v2 finally we use the shell script uh, to record two data to record v1 and v2 into the Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, now I copy this code and explain to you. This is the shell command to calling the application name is sqlcmd.exe. This application comes with uh, the Microsoft Management Studio and Microsoft Management Studio Express. You can use it in shell command. You can find this application uh, on the installation pad of the Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, let me show you. First, you need to uh, explore in your uh, Windows directory, sorry, in your uh, OS, and you can find it. You will see it is in the Microsoft SQL Server pack. Okay, the SQL command dot exe. Copy. Copy the path into your script right here. Okay, and specify the server name and instance of Microsoft SQL Server. You can see the server name and instance of Microsoft SQL Server on the Microsoft Management Studio Express or Microsoft Management Studio right here. And then cop copy the name into your script and your uh, database name. In this example, I use the database name test. Then I use this name in my script. And now use the SQL query insert into the table name. Table name is the SWX, SWX. Okay. And I have uh, three columns, time then V1, V2, just only t uh, just only three columns in this example and send the value of the v1 and v2 into the table okay with the date and time that you get from the sql command get that function okay in this way you can record the OVC data into Microsoft SQL Server. Now we just test it. Okay. Now I start a script box by click on the uh, light here. Okay. Now it's starting. Then every 15 seconds, it will be the new record in the table. The time now is the, the time now is 8 o'clock. As you can see here, this is the new record. And if I refresh the table, it is the new record here every 15 seconds. Okay, thank you very much for watching.